Barbecue cancelled? I think so. We do have a couple of issues though. Mainly one of them is that guttering there is overflowing. Yes, I know, great place to put a vent for the cooker. Brilliant idea. But yeah, it's all running down the side. So, got to go and pick some ladders up, climb up there and take out what I imagine is metres and metres of Gemma's hair. Will be. So yesterday I discussed briefly the pain in my finger. Well there we go, we can see that just around here, look, that's actually floor paint, that's not blood. But can you see the colour? That is so tender. We're going to get some juicy, juicy cream pie out of this little baby. Right, we're braving the terrible weather to go and pick up some ladders and take a few photographs of the kit because I want to put together some pump clips today. As soon as it is a rainy day, let's go. Right, we're in, we're in the unit. Uh, I've spotted a couple of leaks thanks to all this rain, but funnily enough, it's not from the rain. Look at this. We have a telltale sign here, and if we run it all the way back, then we shall see that the fitting from the cold liquor tank probably needs a little bit of a tweak. So I'm hoping that's where that's coming from. There's another puddle here. So if this tank leaks, it will be going back to where we bought it from but I don't think it does and then of course we've got the weeping wall no amount of damp stop is ever gonna stop this coming through so the damp problem on this back wall is something we're gonna have to live with it just means we'll have to throw sort of a gallon of paint at it every couple of months uh, this isn't good look at that lot I mean I've got my electrics here now I did a smart thing and I raised the panel from the wall, look. So there's no way that that water's gonna get onto any electrical connections. Up here for thinking down there for dancing, folks. But yes, as you can see, that is actively, water's actively running out of there. So I don't know what to do. Not my problem, really, in terms of refurbishing the wall, but it is my problem because I've got water coming through into my unit well it's one of those things i can live with it it's not the end of the world it really is not the end of the world so yeah i'm going to just spruce the place up i mean this is kind of the shot that i'm looking for and what i'm hoping to do or maybe this and i'm hoping to try and incorporate an image of the tanks and what have you onto the pump clips or at least onto the website when i start to get that developed just got a WordPress site up at the minute and there's nothing on it. It's just all the obvious, uh, what, it, what do you call it? Everything that comes with the package. You know what I mean. Hello world page on a WordPress site, I think it is. So yeah, we'll just have a quick spruce up, tidy this up, make it look nice and presentable. I'll probably wet the floor so it looks nice and red and uh, take a couple of shots and then we're gonna go home and hopefully play around with some pump clip designs. I'm not going to sit there and set the computer up to do any type of screen casting because I don't have time really but I will show you the results if we get something done and then of course I've got to take the ladders home to clean out that drain. I'll have to use my left hand today like because I've got a poorly finger. Right anyway enough waffle let's get this sorted and get gone. How does that look, folks? I think she's grand, ready for some pics. Oh, and while I was uh, cleaning up, I had a visit from an old mate of mine. A pregnant Viking. Have you ever seen one of them before? Oh my goodness. Babe, what are you doing to me? Thought I'd put it on the door to scare any potential burglars away, you know what it's like. Right, I'm going to get the tripod, set the camera up, 
and we're going to take a few snappy snap snaps hopefully good enough quality for the old website we'll see shoot complete time to put some uh, ladders in the back of the van and scuttle off home and clean out this freaking drain woohoo That's what we got, oh my goodness, let's look at it. Well I really should have my arse slapped for not tidying this little bar area up now I've got it back working again. So this is the keep it simple pail that we did the other week and she's drinking V well. Thank you very much. So while I slurp on a little bit of this pale ale, oh, that's refreshing. It's about seven degrees in the chiller. Mmm, bubblegum. Very nice. 6.8 it's showing, seven degrees thereabouts. So what I do want to show you is what I've been working on this afternoon. Uh, it's now seven o'clock so I guess I've been working on it all day since I came back from work after I cleaned out that dirty looking drain I'm sorry for exposing you to this I also squeezed and the juice out of my finger but uh, Gemma said I shouldn't really put that into the video I don't know it was quite gory anyway let's have a look at these uh, pump clips so obviously we've left Idle Valley behind and we're starting a new chapter so with that we're starting new beer names. See what you think. So we have the IPA. Look at that bad boy. You got your brewer's notes there, handwritten, styly font. And uh, the IBUs, the malts, the hops, everything that you need on a pump clip. And then up at the top we have the ABV, uh, where it would have said established. Turn that crap off. There we go, after it was rudely interrupted by the television. There's nobody in the house. I don't need it on. So as I was saying, the IPA I think looks pretty neat. The stout, it's a dry stout, it's dry Irish stout actually, but I haven't made it in Ireland, so I thought, do I want to call it an Irish stout? Probably not. So we've just punted with dry stout on that one. And then down here we've got the English bitter, which is the torpid expression recipe. So here we've got the unpretentious declarant, Indolent Philosopher, Torpid Expression, as was, and of course the Vacant Gesture. So there we go, you can see in the notes, we have a familiar favourite known as the Vacant Gesture in a past life. This award winning recipe is now part of the Harrison family where it belongs. Booyah! So I'm really impressed with how those pump clips have turned out. That's obviously not to scale. They are going to be a little bit bigger when they come to going. In fact, I uh, I mocked one up. 
So here's one that I mocked up before I cleaned the printer heads and that is to scale so if I pop it in front of the other ones on the sheet of A4 you can get a, an idea it's almost the size of a the height of an A5 piece of paper if you like so that's what they're going to look like when they're cut out I think it looks pretty neat Harrison's Brewery dry stout well there we are folks you see that we've got the uh, the pump clips are chooching along nicely uh, what I'm going to do tonight is crack open a couple of homebrews that were sent to me by Dudes Brew uh, because I won a competition there. No idea why, but I guess people nominated me. There are far more worthy winners out there, I'm sure. So I'm going to have a little bit of a binge on these beers tonight and chuck that up for tomorrow's vlog because after all it's Sunday, it's raining. What else am I going to friggin' do? So in that respect, it is now five past eight. I'm going to call it a day. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers.